What is up, everybody? Just stay tuned, because I need your guys' help on a very, very important decision. Very, very important. Beersy office is looking a little bit different, probably a little bit echoey, too. We got rid of all of our inventory. Because the problem, you know, you guys voted to fire River, but the problem is he actually does do some stuff. So I'm like, huh, why don't we eliminate all the jobs that he does do? So I was like, let's send our inventory to somebody else to send. Uh, I'm gonna hire a third party um, customer service company and then literally he's gone. So this might be the last time you see River. Uh, River, wave goodbye. Oh, I thought you were gonna do a middle finger. I was gonna say this is family friendly around here. But let's get into the thick of it. My middle kid, Owen, goes to this preschool. This preschool, it's a private preschool, but it abides by the, the school district rules. So whenever there's a snow day at the school district, you know, they have a snow day, even though it's their own call. So, and we're going to try to do this without making it like political at all. And, you know, we're going to try to make it, make it come from like a common sense standpoint. But I'm going to need your guys' help. I'm going to show you a handful of things, and I'm going to need your help on how I should handle the situation. So I go to drop off Owen the other day. It's literally a 15-second transaction. It's all outside. I walk up to the patio. Nobody's near each other. I send them off. Goodbye. Love you. I'm out. Well, the other day, the teacher, which we're, we're pretty close with, but she looks at me after I hand off my kid and was like, Oh, you need to get a mask. And I'm like, what, what, what do I do here? I'm, I'm, already, I'm already leaving. Um, and also, we're uh, outside, and there's three people out here, because only three people can get out of the car at the same time. The cars are in the front. Then once you get back into the car, then the next cars pull up and go. So it's three people. You know, the six feet is definitely there. But she tells me to get the mask. It was kind of uncomfortable in front of like other parents. I'm not gonna sit and argue with somebody on their own private land or whatever. But after the fact, I shot a message out to her. I didn't really apologize or anything, but basically it's cause a parent felt uncomfortable that I was outside without a mask. So that got me thinking, I better, I better order some masks off Amazon just to you know, make the parents feel comfortable outside, even though you know those cloth, what are they called, gaiters? Like the cloth gaiters is typically what I wear, which it's, been shown by the CDC that they don't do anything. So they just want me to wear a mask just so they can feel comfortable on the inside. So I got some masks that hopefully, hopefully make people feel a little bit more comfortable while I'm dropping off my kid for seven seconds. So let's check them out. All right, so mask number one. Will it make the parents feel more comfortable? What do you think? Oh, he, okay, phew, he's got a mask on this time. Hopefully it doesn't scare the kids. <laughs> This is getting too political. It's, com it's common sense, right? Yeah. That this obviously doesn't do anything, but would they be more happy if I just wore it? All right, mask number two, come. Remember, vote. This is the pantyhose mask. This one smells fishy for some reason. Hands up! <laughs> is this really gonna make somebody feel more comfortable if I'm wearing this in front of all their kids like I'm robbing the joint? It's just crazy. We live in crazy world. I'm wearing one of these. Whatever one you guys vote me to wear, I'm wearing one of them. So let's go get number three. All right, this one, this one actually is probably gonna be my personal favorite. <laughs> this would be just hilarious, rolling up with... <laughs> you, better not, you better come with a mask next time. It's, does this even count? I mean, it protects me from bees. Uh, this one might be my personal favorite. So one, I got some more, hold on. It's actually nice in here. Blocks out the sun from all angles. I could see me wearing this. What do we have? Pantyhose, burglar mask, bee mask, and this is, um, I mean, I don't know what to call this. This is Mandalorian, the Mandalorian. Now this one, I don't know if you guys can hear me. This one's very uncomfortable. It's really hard to breathe in. But I feel like this one would actually, if, if I was actually really concerned about COVID, this would be the one I wear. I'm not sure if you can hear me. I've never used one of these and I feel like I'm laboring. I, I don't know if there's a vent I need to open, but... <laughs> this is what we'll call the gas mask. And I might actually hold on to this. This is kind of an expensive one. Now we kind of already did one similar to this, but it's got a little extra pizzazz to it, so we'll call this the Call of Duty mask, right? Call of Duty? 
I call this the Call of Duty mask. Remember, leave your votes in the, in the comment section. Let me know which one you want me to wear. A couple more left. I'm laboring breathing wise. This one, this one might actually work. So this one's more like an old lady mask. Um, you see a lot of old uh, Betty White looking ladies, RIP, wearing this one. But um, I could see me wearing this if there wasn't even COVID. If COVID wasn't a thing, I could see me wearing this. This one we'll call the old lady. All right, guys, like I said, I ain't trying to, it's, it's not a political thing. It's, it's a common sense thing. I'm not saying that masks don't work, but like I said, it's private property, their rules. Which one do you guys want me to wear? My favorite personally is the bee suit. Let me know in the comment section. Like I said, this ain't no political uprising. I'm not going political on you guys. I got like four or five videos in the bank, ready to go, some outdoor stuff. Let me know guys, which one do I wear? Or what I wear? I feel like I'm gonna pass out now after that freaking gas mask. So uh, let me know in the comment section. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching. And uh, one of the, once the vote's over, I'm gonna, I guess, film myself um, going to drop off with whatever one you guys vote. So uh, thanks for listening, thanks for watching. Have a good one, bye.